Jory, you are making a game right now called Homebody, and it's about to come out. That's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Uh, it is a survival horror time loop kind of game. Um, that's pretty interesting. Is there anything you want to say about that? From what I understand, there's like these themes of OCD, agoraphobia, anxiety. You know, what, what inspired you to, to talk about that in the game? One last question. There's a giant hot dog with the word bastard written on it. It's featured in the game. Can you tell us something about that? Oh, yeah. I was hoping you would ask that. Now, the thing you need to know is I'm just a really big fan of hot dogs. I just like the natural casing dogs when you bite in and they have that snap. It's just so satisfying, that like salty, greasy bite that you get. Mm. It's awesome. And I, I really just, I look for that in everything that I do. Any other questions or? Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Yeah, baby! It's the Black Cauldron. Oh my god, and we had no issues getting this to work <laughs> or anything like that. One of the most difficult games we've ever tried to get going. But look at the names here. Al Lowe, who did Can we, like, shoot Larry. down a little bit? It's gonna end in a second. Okay. This is the only music yeah, in the game. No, it's not. We We're... loaded it up and it was like... Da -da 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 -da. Would you even relax? <laughs> <laughs> We're like 30 seconds into an hour-long playthrough. It hour -long sounds play awful! All right. And <laughs> it's it, searing my breath. Gotta turn this down. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's done. What? It's done. Oh, that's it. That's it. There's that's no it. more sound. And pretty much music. God, man. I'm sorry. It was just too much for me. Welcome to the Black Cauldron. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. So are you uh, acting out the movie? Yeah, pretty much. Um, hold on. Let me just. Okay, that works. Just remembering the. Uh, Use the currently selected inventory item. Picking up stuff. Okay, do stuff. Dan and likes all these crazy, weird games where you have to, like, f have a pilot's yoke to play them. <laughs> it was 1987, <laughs> man. Okay, so you're, you're Taryn, the assistant pig keeper. Uh-huh. This is the cottage of Dalbin, the ancient wizard of Pradane. You have lived here as long as you can remember, serving as assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin. Have you ever seen the Black Hall no, movie? I have not. Oh, it's amazing. It's my favorite Disney movie. I know, you've told me so many times. Yeah. Like, so many times. It's probably the most hated Disney movie there is. I like The Goose. Yeah. It almost, uh... No, not Home on the Range. Come on. Oh, home, yeah, I didn't like Home on the Range at all. I don't think anybody did. But, uh, this, this almost, uh, bankrupted Disney. Yeah. You open the door. That doesn't mean it was hated, it just means nobody watched it. That's true. Ever since you were young, you have loved this cottage and its master, the wise old Dalbin. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you want to do Dalbin's voice? Welcome to my cottage. Hold on. Do you <laughs> like my purple roof? <laughs> Taryn, it's time for you to feed our favorite pig, Henwen, says old Dalbin. Uh, take good care of her. <laughs> she is a very special animal. Sorry, I'm quite gassy. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an early Sierra game uh, before Space Quest, before maybe even before King's Quest. Um, you open the cupboard. That is... Take know, that shit. Yeah. This knapsack, that's what it is. We'll hold just about anything <laughs> you may find. That's an apple. You take the apple. It certainly looks delicious. Oh, man. They were oh, on their top game. This looks like meal enough bread for three meals. Three whole meals? This water flask is made of soft leather. Kissing. What? Your dad. Okay. So this is before they even had a parser system where, like, you type in commands. Mm -hmm. This you just have, like, a do button, which is F6. So you just press that, and you carefully reach over the fire and take Henwen's pot of simmering gruel. Somehow better that way because then you just go up to stuff and press button it certainly made it easier yeah um which i'm fine with yeah uh but we're, we're this game is about an hour long we're just gonna blast through it uh, yeah he's running at blazing speeds that was the goose <laughs> It was a honking. The technology. If this goose is honking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> Blowing my mind over here. Are you gonna feed the pig? Yes, I just want to open the door of the shed and discover some dried corn. Boom, baby! Taking the corn! Reach into the shed and pick up the corn. Now you have corn. 
Yo, if I was a child, are you like playing with your balls when you walk down? No, those are my those are my hands. They do not look like your hands. They look like you're juggling your balls around. It was very limited, Aaron. Please don't shat on my childhood. You open the gate and notice it has fallen off of its hinges. You'll have to fix it someday when you have time. Oh, that sounds fun. Pig! Get him. There we go. Get him. Hold on. He's in there. He's not coming out. I think it's a she. I think Henwin's female. Be like... I can't remember, that. though. Did anybody's cat freak out when I did that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take the gruel and lay it on the ground. You feed the gruel to your hungry pig, Henwen. <laughs> Henwen certainly enjoys eating. As I do! Henwen's adorable. Oh, Henwen's out now. Oh, Henwen is trotting away. Get her, grab Hen- oh my god! Perhaps she's going to Dalbin's cottage. Oh. I can't catch her! <laughs> wow, that was like a solution to a problem that it's just like, oh my god, he's gonna lay. I was like, the first conflict! And it's like, no, he's just going to see his owner. That was the goose. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Is that the same goose or are there multiple gooses? I think they're, uh, well, geese, but I think there's multiple ones. Oh, okay. Well, you don't say meese. You don't. They're different animals with different language rules. Yeah, but it says moose. I'm just gonna fill the water flask with water. Nice. Okay. So you can drink it later. That's exactly why. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you open the door. Why do you have a score? <laughs> oh, because you get points for he always succeeding. The, he always do the same thing. Look, something's wrong with Henwen. Is that me? You? Oh, sorry. Well, if you haven't seen the black called <laughs> Henwen ha- Henwen's like this, um... Uh, like sort of a psychic. She has oh. these powers, and so <laughs> she places her snout in the water. She enters a trance. A vision appears above the bowl. She can see like the future uh, in in water. Holy shit! Aaron, the world is full of magic. <laughs> I know. It's just I didn't expect that. That's the Horned King, bro. Skeletor. Oh, he is a little Skeletorish. Yeah. The Horned King was terrifying in the movies. Yeah. Like for a Disney villain, really dark. Voiced by John Hurt from Alien. That's you. Jaren! Says Dalbin. You've never known about Henwin's magic powers, but unfortunately the time has come for me to tell you. Henwin can show us things that happen in faraway places. Through her vision, she is now telling me a terrible tale. Apparently, I'm going to fart and fall down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the Horned King, the most evil ruler in all of Prydane, Prydain. is searching for Henwen. He could u- force her to use her visions to reveal the location of the Great Black Cauldron. This is it. This is the plot. If he finds the Black Cauldron, he will have unspeakable power. Terran, you must take Henwen to the hidden cottage of the Fair Folk. They are our only hope to keep her from the Horned King. Good luck, Terran. Take this coil of rope and hurry before the Horned King's power becomes unstoppable. And then bring the Black Cauldron to me and then and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, no reason. I just... I. I need it for cooking gruel for Henwen. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me remember how to save this. Um, okay, so that's sound on and off. God, whoop. The, whoop, hello. Uh, keyboard commands, all right. Yep, yep. Uh, F5 saves? Okay. Um, which disk or on which directory do you wish to save? We're going to save it on C. Uh, okay. So... What would you like to name this game, Aaron? Um, that. No, I meant, um. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Perfect. All right. Henwick follows you? Yeah, yeah, I have to take Henwen to the fair folk, the, the fairy people uh, that live a little ways away. How far away? Not will incredibly you, far. Will you make it with that, uh... <laughs> that very relaxed walk. Yeah, I I can uh, turn up the speed a little bit, but there's a this is a part of the game where you could get attacked by a dragon. Um, oh, yeah. So I have what to is like this Dark Souls. Oh, there we go. I have to sort of like stay near the edge of a screen where I can run away if need be. Get attacked by a dragon. Yeah, dude, the dragon. 
the G. Okay, so that's slow. That's fastest. That's fast. Oh, okay. okay, now we're moving at a good clip. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I used to, I used to love these like forest environments. What a beautiful spot! You can't remember seeing trees like this around Care Dalbin. Care Dalbin? Yeah, I guess like his like village. Oh, the okay, that that's the dragon. Whoa, what the fuck? The swamp to the west is impenetrable. The land is unstable and soggy, like you, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out for those low hanging branches. Whoops. Yeah, the trees are a little bit evil. You just bonked your head, dude. Oh, fuck. Don't, no, 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 no. Okay. Whew. Good God. I know. Th this part of the game's tough. That's fucking scary. Th it, it's, and it totally changes the game if the dragon captures you in Henwen. Oh, he captures you. Yeah, he, he flies you to the evil land. Oh, so oh, you- Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy walking through the peaceful meadows of Caradalbin. <laughs> All right. Sorry, man. It's- Ah, okay. Oh shit! Where the where the H? <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Uh... Oh god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's kind of like um, uh, it's like when your parents get lost while they're driving you somewhere, yeah. and you're just like, "All right, oh, oh, oh. hold on, hold on." <laughs> that tree's like, "Oh, yeah, let's take a look in there." That looks important. You discover a musical lute inside a hole in this tree. You could always take the lute and run. <laughs> okay. Do you get it? All right. Are you going to do it? Are you going to take the lute and run? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. maybe I didn't take it. You take the lute and realize that it is slightly out of tune. Perfect. Cool. Yep, maybe, love it. Maybe you can play Freebird. <laughs> slightly out of tune. My throat is dry. Okay. Does that mean you should drink water? It does, but you have to kind of like meter it out. You want to wait until you're like really parched because, oh, here's the briar patch. Oh, is it like, now you're really throat dry. E exactly. Now your throat is crackling. So behind here is the secret house. Oh! You emerge from the brambles into a clearing with a strange underground house. What the fuck? Yeah, it's the hidden house of the fairy folk, dog. How the hell? You open the door, peek inside, and carefully enter the underground house. <sighs> it's a pretty big door for fairy folk. Yeah. Henwin r recognizes Gwistle as one of the fair folk and a long ago visitor to Care Dalbin. She's happy to see her old friend. I've got a bunch of Gwistles. <laughs> what are you talking about? They shimmer. Would you like to do this voice? Oh. Welcome to <laughs> okay. says the fairy. I am Gwistle, one of the fair folk and a friend of Dobbin. He told us to expect you by phone and asked <laughs> us to hide Henwen from the Horned King. Congra Congratulations. Oh, that's it. Congratulations. You have delivered Henwen to safety and successfully fulfilled Dobbin's request. Yeah, I don't I think that was an accident that they put that yeah. in, in quotes at the beginning. But since you left Care Dalbin, the Horned King behaves even more fiendishly. Oh, no, that is him oh, yeah. speaking. But since you left <laughs> Care Dalbin, the Horned King behaves even more fiendishly. My king, Edileg. Edileg. Edileg <laughs> contacted Dalbin seeking his help. Dalbin now wants you to locate King Edileg. No, you to like. <laughs> wow. In whatever way you can. Since the fair folk are continually moving, I can't tell you where they are, but I can tell you their magic password. Boom! <laughs> Use it wisely. Rolls right off the tongue. Good luck, Terran of Caradalbin. Gwistle flies to the little door. <laughs> Goodbye. Come, Henwen. I'll keep you safe from the Horned King. Bye, Henwen. I love you. Fucking see ya. Henwen smiles goodbye as Gwistle takes her through his secret passage. All right. And now since he you left steal me, all his shit. He left me in his house alone. I guess I could open this cupboard and take his cookies. <laughs> you carefully <laughs> open the cupboard. Boom, baby! Delicious cookies. Oh man, those are some two pixeled cookies. You have some cookies. <laughs> you have some cookies. Hold on. Let me save it. Cookies. Yeah. I have some cookies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have some cookies. Oops. I apparently had caps locked That's on there. Okay. That's, That's fine. how I feel about it. I have happens. some cookies! <laughs> you are in Gwistle's way station. He is not here. 
God, that hearth looks like another mouth going. Yeah! Dude, honestly, like, I mean, of course, looking at these games now, they look so primitive. And I've said this before about early Sierra games. But when I was like six years old, this looked like a mystical, magical, you know, mushroom secret forest land. Yeah, you can imagine. I, I loved it. It probably also looked a little cooler in a CRT. Maybe All it the did. Pixels were kind of blurred together. Yeah, it just, I don't know, it looked beautiful to me. Um, this, I mean, it's gorgeous. <laughs> you know what, Aaron? Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat my feelings. <laughs> All right, so somewhere around here. Oh, it's the wool. Oh, it's Gurgi. What? Or Gurgi, rather. Hi, I'm Gurgi. Do you have any crunchings and munchings for me? Okay. What the fuck is that thing? That's Gurgi, man. He's my boy. But what is he? He's a little... Oh, wait, oh. Hold on. I need to give him the apple. Thank you for tasty apple kind, master. <laughs> Gurgi, now Taryn's friend for life. He's sort of like a Grundor. Yeah, he's so a Grundor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's Gurgi. He's my little furry friend, and I love him. But what is he? I don't know. He's like a little... He's a little friendly fellow. He looks like a horse. He... I think Frank Oz... Um, He's in voiced the movie, him, voiced him in the movie. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna look up a picture of Gurgi. He's like an adorable little furry guy. My thirst is intense. All right, hold on. Let me drink some water. Oh, oh. What? Yeah, I can understand why you were like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's. I think he's like dog-like. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's definitely got a dog-like personality. Uh, all right. So I've just had some water, and oh, whoops! I read ahead. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Your feet are wet from walking through the shallow stream. Okay, so under here, boom, there is a wallet beneath the bridge. Sometimes I feel like... Reaching under the footbridge, you take the wallet and look inside. It is filled with food. What the what? It's a magic food wallet, bro. <laughs> so now, now I don't have to worry about like eating food and rationing things out. Oh, that's a cheat. It, it's very helpful, actually. Okay, so let me just let me just save this also, because it's important to save a lot. I have uh -huh. some cookies. I have infinite cookies. <laughs> Food wallet in my pants. <laughs> okay, awesome. We're doing well. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel like. My only friend. friend. Oh, ow. ow, the goat thinks you want to play tag. <laughs> oh, you son of a damn, damn it, goat! <laughs> Everyone just chill out! <laughs> They're all harassing you. Yeah. <laughs> life Stop! On the, life on the farm is brutal. <laughs> it thinks you want to play with you. It gored you. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to... Oh, you know what I need to do? Here, sorry. Let me just, oh boy. Man, the sky really changes color really quickly. Yeah, it, get, it gets late early around here. I may begin to feel a little hungry, but that's fine, because I have a GD food wallet. Cha-ching food wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens whenever I go to a grocery store. I just walk around for fun. And they're like, oh, did you not buy anything? I'm like, cha-ching food, food wallet. wallet. <laughs> And I grab like a sourdough loaf out of it and just eat it whole. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! I'm swimming, bro! Look at him go! <laughs> I know, don't you love it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Yep, not wet at all. Another thing I loved, ooh. Oh, what wow. the fuck? Yeah. Yo, is that a sword you can keep? Yes, it is, dog. Oh my god. Okay. You look at the tree and see a dagger holding up a no trespassing sign. Maybe. You carefully remove the sharp dagger from the tree. Not quite as sharp since it was just thrown into wood. You have no use for a no trespassing sign, so you leave it. Oh, those trees are all like, ah, oh, jeez, fuck! <laughs> 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 you alright? Yeah, that's the tree. It's really great sound effects. <laughs> that's the other tree. Oh. What is this? Okay, this is the this is Eagle Rock, I believe. But oh, like like Eagle Rock, California. Yeah, just like it. Um, I don't need to be there quite yet. I need to. 
Let me let me turn on the speed. Oh, there's no dragon anymore, eh? Right. Um, okay, hold on. I I need to remember how to get to Oh, okay. I need to get to the fairy folk. Did you just do that? Uh no, I met Gwistel, who like told me to find the king, which is like the next part of the deal. But Gwistel is a fairy folk, isn't he? He's one of them. But like now I gotta find their lair, which is right here. Oh. So you bask in the beauty of its falling water and enjoy the refreshing scent and soothing sound. All right, so. Oh, that's Gurgi. Gurgi's so, back! What's up, my bro? Gurgi! Uh, all right, take, Over here, Gurgi! Take it easy, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. He's trapped. He, yeah, he's doing his own thing. So I need to use the magic word here because this is where you get into the secret lair. So that rock is blocking us. Mm -hmm. So you use the magic word. Bumpxf. Bumpxf. You say the word exactly as Gwistel taught you. The rock beside the waterfall sinks into the stream, revealing a hidden cave. Oh. Yeah. Gurgi's like, please. <laughs> please. For the love of God, please. <laughs> there we go. You enter the cave. It's pitch black in here. Oh. Oh, you're falling. Take a- <laughs> Ah, shit. Right on the head. Ouch. Well, that's his butt, but that's fine. Hi. And just who is this falling into my kingdom? Shouts King Idleg of the Fair Folk. Oh, that's Idleg. That waterfall was supposed to keep people out. Thank you, tiny floating Santa. <laughs> um. Wait a second. My name is Taran, assistant pig keeper of Care Oh Dolben. my God, he can ta he can talk. Yeah, sure. You reply. You requested help from Dolben the Mystic. I'm here to assist you. No, I didn't. Oh, Go for it. You! The king shouts in disbelief. The great Dalbin sends me a pig keeper and an assistant pig keeper at that. I can't believe it. If you truly represent Dalbin, you would offer me something to show your respect. <laughs> I will do that. I will give him the loot that I found in the, uh, in the tree. Ah, oh, my out-of-tune loot. Thank <laughs> you. You offer the loot to King Idleg. Thank you for your gift, Taryn, says King Idlick. You represent Dalbin quite admirably. <laughs> I'm so glad it's really you. Your remarkable Henwen is also here and quite safe. Gwistel brought her to us through our secret underground tunnels. It's weird that they can fly, but they live underground. Yeah. Oh, there's the uh, hornets that live underground. That's true. Since you last saw Dalvin, the Horned King has dispatched legions of warriors to find the Black Cauldron. If he succeeds in finding it, he'll destroy our civilization! Yes. Uh, the Black Cauldron, I don't know if they ever say it in the game, because it might have been too scary for kids, but... Um, it was in the movie for kids, though. Yeah, well, Part of the reason the movie didn't do well because it was because it was terrifying for kids. But uh, the, the, the Horned King takes corpses of soldiers and throws them in the Black Cauldron and it, and it brings the undead to life. Oh, cool. So he's trying to create this huge army of the undead. Taryn, I beg you, find the Black Cauldron and destroy it! <sighs> I give you this magic mirror and enough fair folk flying dust for five flights. Yeah. It's not crust. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter where it came from. <laughs> the point is it gifts us with the power of flight. Right. It is not crust, though. No, okay. Why don't you try using your new flying dust, Taryn? Yes, smear it all over you. <laughs> Sprinkle it whenever you want to start or stop flying. All right. King Idleg is very small but looks friendly. What did you say? Here we go. So now I will use the flying dust... And just sprinkle the flying dust whenever you want to stop or start flying. Good luck, Taryn. Oh, well, there he goes. A strange feeling comes over you. Looking down, you notice you're floating in midair. You can fly. Whoa. I fly now. <laughs> I fly now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, King Idleg. I'll do my very best. Okay. okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so let's just save. <laughs> We're fucking off in our own way. Come back someday with food. I fly now. <laughs> I fly now. Oops. Oh well. 
Yeah, you had a little Tilda. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my phone. So dumb. Who cares? All right, magic word. Bucks. You better believe it. You say the word exactly as Whistle told you. Okay, the rock sinks and boom. What if you forgot the word when you got in? You'd be trapped. (laughs) It'd be pretty rough going. (laughs) All right, so now. I'd like help. Now I go to um, that, uh, that group of rocks from before. We're already, like, a third of the way through this game, by the way. Holy shit. Well, yeah, I guess so. You're 62 of 230. Yeah, I mean, the, these games, they took so long to figure out what you're supposed to do that um, once you actually know what to do, the game is incredibly short. You um, are at the north. Oh, sorry. I was at, we're at the northwest corner of Morova Marsh. Morova Marsh? hmm Damn, what is this fucking Lyurnia of the Lakes? Well, this all comes from the Chronicles of Prydain novels by Lloyd Alexander, which are, oops, I'm starving, um, which wallet. are some of my favorite books ever. Food wallet, food wallet. The magic food wallet produces enough food to satisfy you. Oh my fucking God, that sounds hot. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, my throat is dry. The rap, okay. Um... You're constantly, like, running out of water and food. That, that was a big thing in the... Oh, all right. So we made it. And, and oop. Think, so you have to fly now? No, not yet. Um, I have to... There's, like, a secret little path behind here. Oh. There we go. And, I mean, I just know this game by heart because I played it so much as uh, a little kid. It kind of looks like someone flipping you off or something. You made it. Yeah, it kind of does. It's like, up yours. Ouch. <laughs> you just walked directly into a solid granite cliff. All right, so this is one of the most difficult parts of the game. All right, yes, thank you. I need to use the rope and connect it to that tree right there. There's a tree? Yeah, a little branchy tree. What? Throwing your rope high overhead, it catches on the dead branch. You tie your end securely to the limb in front of you. Okay. So now, what I must do is... Uh, save this game. Oh, I thought that was a crack in the wall. Yeah, it's it's a little confusing. Rope. Oops. <laughs> um, you climb now? <laughs> I climb now! <laughs> uh, Alright, I have to turn this real slow. Okay. Um, oops. Uh, <laughs> you grab the rope and hang on tightly. Don't look down because the rocks are far below you. So cool. this, it is so easy to fall and die on this. Oh, God. All right, I'm just going to keep saving it. Uh-huh. Oh, all right. All right, I'll just... Ouch. I'll just restore it. This is, like, where I learned to save constantly during Sierra games. Because if you fall any farther... Um, out like you just die. Oh like, no! Yep, like this. Okay, let's oh, just. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, well, you're not gonna oh. show it. There's there's no room for error. Oh fuck them, dicks! Whoop. No, it's just like, well, you died. And evil rules the land. What? Uh... Right? Yeah. Sorry, Taryn, you failed in your quest. The Horn King now has the Black Cauldron, and evil rules per day. Cool. Good job, Dick. All right. It's like immediately. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Well, you're the only one who can save the kingdom, so if you die, it's all over. Whew, this is like so stressful, and you have to do it like three times in the game. You're so high up now. I know. It's very, it's very upsetting. <laughs> it gives me some kind of like vertigo feeling. You're high now? I'm high now. Oh, oh well, let's just. Let's just restore real quick. God, I'm like fucking Mr. Butterfingers up here. If you go too high on the rope, you fall too low. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you successfully climbed the rope and now stand up on a narrow ledge. You're on a narrow ledge with a sheer drop beside you. Oh, no. No, we're good. Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, yes. (laughs) <laughs> Hooray. Um, save game. Boop, boop, boop. 
All right. Now we can go back to normal speed. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Your fingertips clutch the tiny crevices in the rock face. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Yeah, now I'm kind of shimmying do, my do, way. Do, 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 do. Gratefully? Yes. Like, as in you're grateful you didn't fall and die. Oh. I like your very colorful outfit. Me too. I, I like I like the sprite. I love Taran the character, um, especially because as a kid I used to think it was pronounced Taran. I was like, whoa, like fucking Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh my God. It's the castle, baby. So evil. The lightning frightens you and makes you wish you were back in Care Dalbin. I mean, this shit was pretty majestic when I was a kid. It's like, oh my god, there it is. Holy moly, are you gonna be able to make this? Well, here's some more places that you can like easily fall to your death, so you just kinda gotta watch yourself. Kinda gotta watch yourself. Kinda gotta take it slow, take it slow. Don't go, take it slow, take it slow. You gotta walk along the path of no return. Walk along the path on your journey. <laughs> <laughs> they rhyme now? They rhyme now! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there were lots of... In Sierra games, there were lots of like little things like this, like winding paths that you have to do correctly. Okay, so there's the moat of alligators. There's a couple different ways to get in the castle. Um... There's actually a lot of different ways to play this game, but I'm going to do the way where, like, there's the drawbridge. You are in front of the dreadful castle of the Horned King. A slimy green moat filled with alligators surrounds it. Oh. Your thirst is intense. Oh, hold on. Let me drink some water. Better get some water soon. Okay. Drink the green. Drink. <laughs> drink. Drink the green. Nope. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Who's, so, who's this funny fellow? He, he's one of the bad guys, one of the Horn King's disciples, but he's got a cart that I can sneak into. He's like waiting for you to sneak into it. More or less. He is mm, not that bright. I'm just going to wait here for a second until I feel something shimmy shammy. <laughs> Gathering your courage, you leap into the rear of the wagon. The henchman continues onto the castle without noting, noticing you. Oh, oof, much heavier than it was before <laughs> a second ago. I just remembered like doing this as a kid. I was like, oh my god, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I've snuck in. in. All right, see ya. The henchman can't see you and leaves. All right. You leap from the wagon. Why can't he see the leaves? Aaron, please. <laughs> okay, so now we're in the castle, and there's a couple of different ways we need to get downstairs. But behind this barrel, which you find from much experimenting. This is some delicious whiskey. Yeah. There's a secret path back here. Holy fu- Holy fuck. All right, fuck. take it easy. <laughs> There's an opening in the floor here. You can't tell where it goes. Ooh, you fell into the opening. Oh. It smells like it must be a garbage chute. Oh my god. <laughs> Three <-P> oh! <laughs> it, it, it's a lot like that, actually. And sploop. Is that the princess? That's Ilanwe, yeah. There's a beautiful young girl here. Hello. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Jeez. The young girl speaks. Hello, you must be a prince or a great warrior. I'm Princess Ilanwe, and this is my magic bauble. Oh, sick. She's got a bauble? She's got a bauble, dog. Damn. She's she came to... down in a bauble. She's about to sack it and look at the top card of your opponent's library. <laughs> All You're right. going to draw a card at the beginning of your next turn. I'm Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin. You respond. You can't do anything here. I hear you do a line way. Oh. That's too bad. I was hoping for a great hero to get me out of this dismal place. Oh, well. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I was saving this ice pick for a lobotomy. Where are we anyway? The last I remember, I oh, was Oh, that's me. Oh. Where are we anyway? The last time I remember, I was in the wine cellar upstairs. That's not wine. Oh. Why, we're far below the castle now. Even the dungeon is up from here. You are below the Horned King's dungeon. There's a hole in the ceiling that you can't reach. Can we normalize saying why before statements again? Why? Yeah. 
Like, why yeah. you're in the dungeon. Like oh, kind of. yeah, absolutely. Of course, Aaron. You can normalize anything. It's like, why are you following me? I don't know. <laughs> Bored? <laughs> <laughs> Got stuff going on? In my bubble? Well, you're trying to find a place to escape. Oh, oh. so here's, here's where the Black Cauldron would be if the Horned King had it in his possession. Oh. This is the Horned King's secret chamber, where the skeletons of hundreds of fallen soldiers lie waiting to become his army of the cauldron born. Okay, so yeah, I guess they do talk about that. Man, he totally, it's just like re, he like renovated his castle just to have the cauldron in it. I know. He's like, I'm gonna have a Christmas tree in yeah, here. Yeah, I want this whole wall blown out. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. too am being held against my will. Ilan we says. So we can say anything? Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do hate this place, says Ilanwe. I hope there aren't any rats in here. It's not that I really mind them, but they do jump out at one, so. She's very British. <laughs> they do jump out at one, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. <yeah. laughs> so should we? So, so one of my biggest childhood memories is walking around these dungeons for hours with my friends and having no idea what to do. <laughs> like, we just d didn't know. What you have to do is where these stones, oh, because the bauble goes back there. I guess that is clearer now, but we couldn't put it together. Um, Ilan, we stomps her foot in anger. Oh, that wicked, wicked king! You know that he kidnapped me! He seemed to think my bauble could tell him where some silly old cauldron was. My bauble is magic, you know? So, yeah, the, the same reason, uh, um, the same reason he's imprisoning or like going after you and Henwen, he imprisoned Ilanwi because he's you, trying to use anything in the kingdom who can that can show him where the uh, I know these tunnel well, pretty well. You better stay close to me or you'll get lost. Where the black cauldron is, is the rest, but anyway, so the, the these are this is a fake wall here. Oops, oh. oops, oops. Oops. Might as uh, well. Well, you know what? Yeah. Might as well. Because you fell down a well. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Might as well, because you fell. <laughs> you look through the hole in the wall. It's very dark, but you think you see light. There might be another passage through here. There might be another pet. Oh. When you push, <laughs> when you push on the wall, a block falls inward. Oh. You push another block. Wow! And still another. I could have. And another. I could have been out this whole time. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. A burial chamber. All right. She wouldn't say it that happily. <laughs> <laughs> Exclaims Ilanwi. Yippee! <laughs> this must be the tomb of the great king who built this castle long ago. There is a metallic glint atop the coffin. Ooh, Minty. <laughs> Look, Terry! <laughs> <laughs> Exclaims Ilanwe. My bubble seems to have found another hole in the wall. Maybe I can escape and you stay here. <laughs> Pretty much. Terry, it's an old tunnel. I'm leaving this horrible place. Good luck on your twig quest, Terry. Says Ilanwe, squeezing through the crack in the rear wall. Don't wait for me. That, that's oh. me. Don't wait for me, Princess Ilanwe. You say, I'll find another way out of here. <laughs> You can totally read that as, like, sarcastic. Oh, yeah, don't wait for don't me. Don't wait for me, Princess yeah, I'll, I'll find another I'll, way out yeah, of here. Yeah, happily. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I uh, I love Taryn and Ilanwe. Um, okay, so... Yeah, they had such a budding relationship. They don't really explore it very much in the, uh, in the, um, <laughs> in the game. And actually not incredibly much in the movie, either, yeah, but she... in the books, it's... It's a beautiful thing. She just kind of talked about how she hates this place and then bailed. <laughs> Bye. Well, I guess if you played this game like I did as a kid, you do spend hours with her wandering around aimlessly in the tunnels. <laughs> uh, you struggle, but are finally able to free the sword from the grasp of the carved stone king. Ooh. Yep. So now I've got a now I got a sword. Oh a sword. shit! Oh, you haven't even used your dagger yet, bro. Yeah, haven't needed to. Um, magic sword. Boom. You swing your magic sword. Oh my god. You swing your magic sword. <laughs> Jealous? A little bit. Mm. Playing with your nuts. <laughs> Playing with your nuts. That's what it looks like when he walks down. <laughs> uh, it looks like he's just juggling his balls back and forth. Never even occurred to me. Okay. 
Uh, oops. Uh, I well, knew you had to do something with that gargoyle. Yeah, I'll just save it. Um, they garg now? You twist, <laughs> you twist the gargoyle clockwise. It turns easily, opening the trap door in the ceiling above your head. I lawn we falls. <laughs> ah! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that title didn't lead anywhere! <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. I just want to make sure I'm doing this in the right order. Okay, yes. Meanwhile, she's getting eaten, eaten by rats. Yeah, uh, this was a bad way to go! Ah! Oh! Whoa. That's not good. <laughs> you know what? I might just, oh. Oh. Might load it. Oh. By failing to react quickly enough, you've allowed the magic, oh, the henchman to capture the magic sword. Aw, oh, boo. I'm gonna eat you. Sorry, Taryn, you failed your quest. Evil rules per day. Just, yeah, you suck. Yep, more or less, that's really how it feels. All right. Might uh, as well. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> and this time, I will uh, lower the speed to normal. Okay, swing your magic sword. God, Ooh. this is normal speed. Whoosh! <laughs> The henchman falls to the ground momentarily, stunned by your sword. Run, Taran! It's a sword. It should have just sliced him in half. Yeah, it's pretty dull, I guess. You take the key ring and its keys off the wall. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Yes. Run, Taran! Oh, fuck. Run! It. Oh. Oh, son uh, of a bitch. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll restore the game. Man. Run! As fast as you can! <laughs> it Run! Kind of have that feeling, doesn't it? Quickly, Taryn! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, normal speed. Okay. Um, okay. Swinging the sword. Oop. <laughs> and Oop. Mimo, mimo. All right, I'll just grab these keys and get out of here. Take the keys off the wall. B -b 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 make sure you don't fall. B -b 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 take them all. B -b 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 oh, fuck oh, it. Hey, oh, found you. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christmas. Found you again. Whoops. Okay. And now I can use these keys on the dirt. Use those keys on the dirt. Oh, hey. That's Fluter Flam! That's my boy! Fucking hell! Yeah, I mean, he certainly is struggling. You found a friendly looking old prisoner. They don't. This game really doesn't go into too much detail, but Fluter Flam is another one of your compatriots, and he has a harp that, like, when he tells a fib, one of the harp strings always breaks. Why isn't it a flute? I don't know, Aaron. Why isn't anything anything else? Because his name is Fluter Flam. Oh, f uh, no. Fluter as in, well, you'll see the spelling in a second. My name is Taran, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin, you say? May I assist you? You struggle with his ropes until you undo the knots. The prisoner speaks. Oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> I am Fluter Flam, storyteller, minstrel, and bar to the greatest kings in all of Prydain. Thank you. Well, bye. <laughs> The honored, the horned the, king, the honored is, king. Yeah, oh, bless oh, him. I'm all turned around. It <laughs> has kept me in prison for years in this cell in return for granting me my freedom and extra F's in my name. <laughs> I'd like to present you with this special harp. Oh, he does give you the harp. <laughs> Up -a -up -a -da, sir, the fluter says, <laughs> you may choose to remain here, but I intend to make my escape. Farewell, assistant pig keeper Taryn. Bye. So that's that's your crew. Like in in the movie, the the group of friends is Taran, Ilan, We, Gurgi, and Fluter Flam. But they can't all fit on the screen at once. So yeah, that would be way too much power for this. I gotta leave. <laughs> hey there, just I'll hanging just around. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I saved. Fluter. <laughs> Flame! <laughs> okay. Fluter flame? That's uh, because I'm so hot. Uh, <laughs> Better get the magic sword ready. Girlies love me, Fluter flame. My throat is dry. Where's the last time you nutted? Aaron, please. For me, it was... Oh, God! I learned to go hands-free when I was hanging up here. 
<laughs> to go hands free. <laughs> it's a pretty awesome skill. Oh God, stairs. All right. Um. Oh no. <laughs> I can get you. Oh. <laughs> Not I, the magic sword. Look at this giant head. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Go, 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 go. It's a magic sword too, so it doesn't even kill him. Okay, I'm just gonna save the game here. Stairs. <laughs> uh, he's coming. Well, he's trying. Nah, yeah, he can't get up there. Stupid. What a fucking moron. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's so many stairs. I oh, shit. All right. Um, I have to make sure he's on like level ground with me. <laughs> That's it. They just like run out of song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the Gwith ain't. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Whoosh! Alright, hold on, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Is that dragon gonna bother you? No, he's cool. <laughs> oh. about, I mean, he's not that cool. He's the one flying after you and trying to steal you at the beginning. Trying to steal yo girl? No, just you. <laughs> <laughs> no? Alright, into the door. Ah! Oh! oh, okay, I don't want to be in there. That was a butcher. Yeah. And a baker. And a candlestick maker. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> I've got excited. Ah! Oh. Alright, uh, I don't want to be in anywhere around here. <laughs> I love that dragon. He's so cool. Isn't he cool? The Gwith ain't. Just looking around, just hanging out. Um, I think this cupboard, if you do get captured by the dragon or the guards and they put, uh, you open the closet door, yeah, it's empty. Um, all your stuff would be in there. Uh. Like, that's where you re- Oh, God. <laughs> Who found you? <laughs> you I came. Oh! oh! Sneaky oh! fuck. <laughs> Sneaky fuck. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, they come out randomly. Okay. Let me just see if I... I don't know if I'm supposed to go back here? I don't know. Are you? I can't remember. Dude, and you used to play this as a kid. Hello? Yeah, you Hello? 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 No, I guess this is just a place to hide. From... Yep. Exactly. <laughs> They'll never find me. <laughs> nice. Okay, Oh, cool. this is the entrance. Yes. So I need to get out of the castle now. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> um, I swing my sword. You, sw you swing the sword over your head with tremendous force. It easily slices the chain, causing the drawbridge to come crashing down. Whoosh. And now I make my leave. Boy, I hope what's her face got out. Ilanwe? She's just like floating dead in the moat. Aaron, please. Yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> she's fine. Yeah, she's okay. Fluter, fluter snur is over there too. Fluter snur? Yeah, just like getting eaten by an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! I, as it turns out, I'm just a doddering old man. <laughs> oh, whoopsie! Falls in the fight. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, it's like this. It's like the fail sound when you play Simon. It's like, uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. So we're doing pretty well. A bit. Oh, oh wow. Oh god. Some water All right, soon. hold on. Let me drink some water. This seems like a really terrible road. Like, what if he has to ride, like, a carriage? Yeah, I don't know. Like, oh, here we go. Mm, the, uh, I... The food wallet. But the water flask. Okay. But you need Wawa, Dan. I, I already drank the Wawa. It's from the food Wawa? No, I already did it while oh, you were making weird commentary. Well, yeah, that's the show, Dan. <laughs> what true. do you expect me to do? Doddle around? <laughs> <laughs> Quit doddling! <laughs> Just looking at stuff on my shelves. Ooh, this is a nice little stuffed animal here. He likes to doddle, likes to doddle. He's like, likes to doddle. Doddle. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. My fingertips clutch. <laughs> My finger points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is good. Are you done yet? I'm close. We we have to... Now we have to go back to the land. Get 80 points. Go into the swamps of uh, the Morova Marsh and uh, get the cauldron from the witches. Ooh, witches' um, cauldron. Yeah, and then get back here into the castle uh, okay. to, for my for my final encounter with the Horned King. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. I'm really enjoying playing this. Woo, made it. Time to save. Oh, God, absolutely. I'm gonna save it, gonna save it. Oh, you'll die now. Die. Okay, here. Oh, God. Oh, well. Oh, you went too far down. <laughs> Rip. I'm just gonna have to. It's tough because, like, the more you do this, the more oh, fucking <laughs> <laughs> I have to go real slow. It's like if you press a direction, it just like goes. Yes, right? yes. You have to like con consistently stop your movements. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna just have to save a million times. I apologize. I bet I could do it. You'll hate it. Yeah, I bet I could do it. I, oh, I bet you could too, Aaron. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I bet I could fucking kill it, dude. I'm in front of a... <laughs> like, to, to take a time to look around. <laughs> look at that sprite. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> okay. It's like, uh... Who's the clay guy? Mr. Bill? Mr. Bill. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does have that feel to it. Okay, here we go. Oh, fucking... Oh, boy. Oh, it's because I I keep forgetting to... Um, Turn it on slow mode. Yes. I'm like, why am I flying like a bat out of hell? I'm going slow now. <sighs> He's slow now. He's slow now. Save. <laughs> Rope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Build on a rope. Oh, it's kind of a square rope. <laughs> Just gonna keep doing this. Okay. <laughs> Were you able to do that as a youngin? Yeah. Oh, this is how you had to do it. Oh, fucking sucking. Except when I was a kid, I had all the time in the world. Now I'm like, now I'm 43 and I got a lot of shit going on in my life. I don't have time to be falling off ropes all day and dying. Gotta go down. Gotta go down. Go down the rope. Rope. Uh -oh. Fuck it. <laughs> Give me a jaunty tune, Aaron. Da, 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 da. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Give me a jaunty tune to fall to my death to. Da, 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 da. Fucking my da. God. <laughs> The worst was when you would accidentally save instead of restoring while you were in the middle of dying. Yeah. That was, that was agony. A rope. The worst part is I have to go up this rope one more time. What? Yeah, you have to climb back. But um, going up is easier than uh, coming down for some reason. For me, at least. Okay. Thank God. <sighs> All right. Ouch. <laughs> we did it. My bum bum. <laughs> okay. Fast speed. Fast speed. Save it. All right. Sweet. There you go. You did it. Thanks. I did it. And we're out. We are out of here. And we're going back to the cottage. Right? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the marsh. Going to the marsh. Yeah. For what? <laughs> the witches that have the black cauldron are there. Oh, they have the black cauldron. They've got it, mister. What are they? Well, they, why, why should they have it? They're going to undead the dead or whatever. And, well, different people want to do different things with the cauldron. Oh. Um, they just want to make a nice brew. I don't know exactly what they want to do. They're not good, but they're, they're not 
nearly as evil as the Horn King. They don't want to boil, boil, toil, and trouble or whatever. I don't know. I'm unclear. Double, double, toil, and trouble. You are at the northeast corner of Morva Marsh. Uh, it's a dismal, gloomy swamp with dangerous bogs. Oh, what a bummer. Glad to be here. Doesn't he look like he's juggling a ball back and forth? I, oh, yeah. Well, it's it's on your mind because we just did the uh, ball juggling Oh, my God. Thing you say at, so many things. At Cirque School. Um, oh, look out for that power hour when it comes out. Uh, in the meantime, now we use our flying dust because we can't cross the swamp. Sprinkling the fairy dust over your head makes you feel as light as a feather, stiff as a board. Looking down, you see her floating in midair, about a foot off the ground. Oh. Woo! What the fuck? Woo! What the fuck? Oh. As the spell word- No! Dang it. Alright, hold on, I need to do it again. I need to pick an object. Flying dust. Okay. It's this way, mister. There we go. <laughs> As the spell wears off, you head for solid ground. You begin walking again. Oh my god, that's so funny. I love it. Just, whoa! <laughs> care, care to name this, Aaron? Uh, Floaty McGoaty. Floaty McGoaty. Taryn's the goat, bro. <laughs> he is. He's the float goat. <laughs> the float goat. You cautiously open the door to this strange house. <laughs> a, a chesticle. Wow. A room just for a chest. You open the chest. Ribbit, ribbit. And they got a fucking surplus of shit. Okay. Multiple frogs. Those are all the people they've turned into frogs. A shrieking voice pierces the air. What's going on here? Who are you releasing our guests like this? Perhaps you should join them. Oh, God. Hello, witches. Orwin, Ordu, and Orgok appear to be more than mildly upset with your thoughtlessness. They prefer to keep their formerly human guests in that chest. Um, hello, hello, hello! I believe I'm supposed to give them something. A kiss? Uh, hold on. Big wet kiss? I think it's the sword. You glance at the chest and wonder if releasing the frogs was worth all this. Hmm. I am Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Kara Dalbin, the mystic. Dalbin the mystic has sent me on a quest to recover the evil black cauldron, which is missing from his land. Dalbin thought that you might have this cauldron. If so, I only hope that you would be kind enough to give it to me. In the name of the great Dalbin. Go, oh, silly little pig boy. Orwin responds with a cackle. Uh, 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 you know little of the ways of witches. We never give anything away. We only bargain. <laughs> The truth is, we may have no cauldrons, we may have a cauldron, or we may have the cauldron. But you needn't worry, because you'll never know, since you'll be a frog! Son of a bitch. Did they say, since you'll be a frog? Fuck all that! <laughs> Time for the sword! Here, you say, I offer you my most prized possession, a sword with magic so powerful it once belonged to the good king who built the great castle, which the Horn king has taken over. Thank you, Taryn, says Ordu. This is exactly what we want. Now step outside with us, and you may have your black cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you like? So you have like a pickup, or? <laughs> uh, Orwin laughs. Now you have the black cauldron you have been seeking, but it won't do you any good. <laughs> There's only one way to stop the evil power of the Black Cauldron, duckling! Hmm. Croaks Orgok. A living being must jump into the cauldron of its own free will. Unfortunately, anyone who does will never emerge alive again! Shit. Hee 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 hee! Or do cackles. Now you've lost your magic sword and half the cauldron, but there's nothing you can do to destroy it! So you actually have the choice here. If you jump into the cauldron and sacrifice yourself, the game does end. Like... Like, you saved the world, but you're fucking dead. Oh, wow. Yeah. But we're not going to do that. Go ahead. Uh, farewell, Taryn. Screech the witches. There's nothing you can do now that the Gwine... Gwithaint. Gwithaint has seen the Black Cauldron. Oh, yeah. See, up in the corner, the dragon's coming. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's like, I'm going to take this fucking cauldron. Oh, fucking... Yeah, fucking uh, jeez. Wow. Well, then. 
<laughs> that's a yo. That's a huge L, bro. That, I, yeah, take the L. Dudes posting their L's. Flying <laughs> dust. <laughs> All right. So I'll use the flying dust, and we're out of here. Woo! <laughs> Wee! Wee! Okay. Oh. So now... Do you have infinite dust? No, you only have five. Oh. So you have to use it wisely, or else if you're out, the game's just over. Shit, man. Yeah. Yo, dog. Was that the last time you had to fly? Shit, man. Yes, I think so. Yo, dog, what's up? Yo, this is your boy, Leonard. The rapids are turbulent. Mm, very nice. <laughs> so now I head to the... Um, castle one last time to fight the king, and then we're done, baby. Whoa, really? Yeah, that's the game. Shit, dog. I know. How, but he's got the cauldron. He's going to be so powerful. Yes, he's going to be difficult to defeat. However, we will find a way. You have the power of protagonist on your side. I do. Of course, I have no more magic sword, but you made it. Hooray. Hold, please. Yeah. Uh, you going to rope it? Okay. Yeah, I gotta rope it. I bet I could do it. You want to? Yeah. All right. Aaron is going to take off, take over the ropage. How do I do it? Uh, so F six. Uh, sorry, F six is the rope. Hang on tightly. Yeah. We're gonna save it here. Shit, man. Yeah. Okay. And so it's up and left. Up and left. Aaron's doing it. Whoops. Aaron has fallen. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Can you load it for me? All right, he's shaking it off. Your throat is dry. Oh, fuck. All right, hold on. Drink a little water. Tastes delicious. That's why oh. I wasn't able to do it, because my throat was dry. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go for it. Oh. My God. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Aaron, I have never come so close <laughs> to kissing another man. <laughs> that was incredible. Hey, bro. I'm just going to save that. <laughs> shit, man. I guess it is all about the rhythm, but yeah. I've never once, like, how did you know instinctively what the rhythm was? Uh, because there was, like, there was like three frames before you fell, mm -hmm. so I was like, "Just keep it under three frames." I mean, like, when when do you want your kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to do that again. Hell yeah, that's my gift to you, Dan. Yeah, it's one of those like I'm situations. Not you, I'm not getting you a birthday present this year. <laughs> you just gave me one. They're, they're like, it's one of those situations where like the embarrassment of getting showed up. <laughs> So much doesn't even move the needle compared to like the relief of like not having to do it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Hell yeah, saved us fucking like four minutes. <laughs> four minutes and a lifetime of shame. <laughs> You're like, <sighs> cut to you in the shower, like crying, head down. <laughs> Beer in one hand. <laughs> Forty years. I've never been ah. able to do. Oh, oh. all right. Well, dumpy dumpy. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's you can't move on fast speed here. <laughs> Shit, man. Just went just straight to the fucking hole, dude. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Actually, fast speed should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's like normal speed. Fastest speed is insane. Yeah, that's what speedrunners do. I don't even know how it'd be possible. I think it's purely just like let me get this screen over with. You watch that like King's Quest speed run video, right? No. Is uh, someone doing it at fastest speed? Yeah. Well, I mean there's it's 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 interesting cuz there's like a random element to it. Mhm. Mm um it's just a video like breaking down the whole speed run and how it evolved. That's quite insane. Yeah, I bet you'd like it. Let me just go back to normal speed here. Normal Why don't I save speed, it too? Normal speed. Normal. <laughs> no. Let me just say while we're doing stuff that um, 
uh, we've seen already. I am so happy and grateful that uh, I'm getting to show you this game and and the lovelies as well. Like, this was such a, an important game to me growing up, and like, I don't know. You know how you have like those bucket lists game groups games that you want to play on the show before uh, the show ends, whenever that is. Yeah, Th- this was one of those games for me for sure, and uh, I'm just really happy that we're doing it. It's cute. Yeah, thanks for humoring me. I mean, it, there is something like adorable about it now. At the time, it was like this insane, majestic adventure. Um, but I don't know. The heart is intact, <laughs> I guess, is what you could say. The heart. The heart of the cards. The heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Kurt hurt. <laughs> All right. You gonna get forty points for beating what's his face? I think so. Here we let's find out. Right now in the wine room? Oh. <laughs> My wine room! <laughs> this is where the final battle will be. Uh, I gotta sneak down the cellar again. Scoot it up. Boop. Uh, what? You gotta oh, go wait. all the way down there? Hmm. Actually, you can do it from down here, but I don't want to. Bleep, boop, bleep, boop. Let me, cause to the to the right right here is the secret chamber, right? Um, where you can, there are different ways to fight the horned king, but I want to do this version. Do the epic version. Yeah. I want to do the version that makes me feel like a fucking wizard. Okay. Cool. Shit's awesome. Here we go. Cool. You examine the grate. It is merely resting against the wall. Whoa. Oh, oh there shit. he is. Oh, 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 okay. Does he know you're there? Hurry, Taryn. There's no time to waste. Is he going to jump in the bulb of the bubble? Oh, no. The Horned King is lowering a skeleton into the black cauldron. There. Oh, you do see him resurrecting. A skeleton rises from the pile of bones and begins to march away. <laughs> see yeah, you, boss. That's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Thanks, boss. I'll see you later. All right, here I go. Dawdling. Dawdle, dawdle, dawdle. Another skeleton has risen from the pile of bones. Oops. No. Restore game. No. Oops. C slash. Oops. Backslash. Oh, oh. Suddenly, Gurgi appears behind you. Whoa! Taran, stop! Oh, Taran, stop! exclaims Gurgi. Don't jump into Arthur Cauldron. Great Master has many friends. Gurgi has no friends. Gurgi will give his life for his friend Taran. Oh, that always got me. Wow, he's gonna jump in the cauldron. Yeah, Gurgi kills himself. Before you can stop him, Gurgi runs past you and leaps into the seething cauldron. Fucking Gurgi goat. Goodbye. Your friend Gurgi has sacrificed his life for you. Tears come to your eyes as you remember your friend. Oh. The cauldron begins to tremble violently and emits a frightful roar, shaking the castle to its very foundations. The Horned King is destroyed. Oh, he's just destroyed? He got sucked in, bro. Oh. The castle walls tremble and shake. Stones fall and pillars collapse around you. Giga Gurgi arises. <laughs> <laughs> the force of the exploding cauldron throws you out of the Horn King's secret chamber and into the moat. You grab a piece of floating wood and hang on for dear life. And oh. hold on tight, Taran. You're shredded up in the rocks below. <laughs> the end. <laughs> and now we float. <laughs> you go back to what's his fuck, and he's like. Did you bring the the cauldron to me? Oh, sh- <laughs> you had a friend sacrifice or something? Man, fuck! <laughs> I told you to bring it back to me, you fucking idiot. God, you're the worst assistant pig All herder All right, take ever. it easy. Take it easy, man. It's our moment of triumph. I always like this scene, too, because it takes you back, like, through the game a little bit yeah. to, like, show you where you've been and where you came from. Oh, there's the cauldron. There's the cauldron. It's a floatin'. Well, hell, I'm not getting in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're fine. Oh. oh, it's the witches. Hello. Well, young Terran, things are not working out as they expected, are they? Cackle the witches. Being a great hero is not all it's cracked up to be. Since you won't be using it, we've decided we want our cauldron back. Well, shit. 
Of course, we'll not steal it. We'll trade for it. Terran, we offer you this wondrous book containing all the knowledge in the universe. Trade the cauldron for this and you'll be the wisest man in all of Predaid. So there's the book. And you can take it if you want and you'll be the wisest man in all of Predaid. But I don't want that shit. What? So I'm what? denying it. Wait till you get to the chapter about hands-free ejaculation. <laughs> Take it easy, Aaron. <laughs> it's your choice, assistant pig keeper. We won't wait all day, though. If you don't want that, how about this? The pot of gold from the end of the rainbow. If you take this treasure, you will be the richest person in all of Pradane. Green clover, blue diamonds, purple horseshoes. They can all be yours. <laughs> He's not fucking taking it. He's and even new red balloons. <laughs> He's not taking the fucking gold. You begin to feel a little hungry. Not now, man. <laughs> I'm not taking it. You drive a hard bargain, pig boy. Here is our final offer. Give us the cauldron and we'll give you f- back your friend, Gurgi. Yeah, Gurgi. You lift the lifeless body of your friend into your arms. Oh, my He's sweet, still dead. My sweet Gurgi. <laughs> You hold Gurgi in your arms and long for the simpler days as an assistant pig keeper. You miss Gurgi, and as the tears well up in your eyes... Wait, what's this? Gurgi, you're alive! You exclaim. Gurgi says, Hello, master. Surely you have some munchings and crunchings for an old friend? God, I forgot how fucking annoying you no, are. No, I love him. <laughs> how dare you? It's my sweet Gurgi. Oh, oh, all the friends! You made it. Look at him clap. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to Prudain and your success with the Black Cauldron. Aww. We did it, man! Pig takes a shit. Aaron, please. <laughs> look at that, look at, look at the pixels in the distance. <laughs> Fluter Flam gets a little bottom heavy. <laughs> I guess they just had no... J- Congratulations, you've played a tremendous game. Well, I mean... Now, what can I say? A little self-congratulatory. Oh man. I love it. Congratulations, you've played the best game ever made. <laughs> no, 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 a tremendous game as in, like, you did a great job. Oh, I see. They're not saying, like, they made a tremendous game. The end. How come you're missing five points? We did it. Well, actually, I'm glad you brought that up. If you kill the Horned King in another way, like you use the magic mirror on him, like, looking at the magic mirror makes him realize how evil he is, and he kills himself by jumping into the cauldron. Whoa. Um, that gives you 230. But then it doesn't do the whole Gurgi jumping into the cauldron, which I think is so much more, like, dramatic and more it's like the, the way the story actually goes. It's in goes. the movie, yeah. Yeah. I saw a spoiler. Right. Um, it was like, I was looking at Gurgi pictures, and it was like, Gurgi sacrifice! And it was like a sad-looking Gurgi, and I was like, I'm closing this now. Oh, God, man. I used to cry every time when, when he'd be like, Gurgi has no friends, so it doesn't matter if he dies. Uh, um, it's, it's, such a, it's such a sweet story. If anyone wants to read the Chronicles of Perdain, it's five books. Uh, the Black Cauldron is the second of those books. And, um, I mean, they're, they're not exactly for kids. They're for, like, young adults, I guess. But I read them when I was, like, 13 or 14. They were my favorite. I just loved them. Uh, so they're, they're wonderful. The movie is wonderful. It gets a lot of flack, but um, I think it's fantastic. And I'm so glad I got to play this game with you, man. Like, we, we kind of skipped it at the beginning, but... This was one of the first Sierra games, and a lot of the people who branched off to do other games, like Roberta Williams uh, ended up doing King's Quest, uh, Al Lowe, who was, I think, the driving force behind this game. He went on to do Leisure Suit Larry. Um, Scott Murphy was a programmer on this, and Mark Crow was a graphics guy. They went on to do the Space Quest games. Mm. So, like, it all kind of started, this is one of the earliest Sierra games, and... Uh, I loved it, and I hope uh, you all enjoyed it as well. I love you, Aaron. I love you. Hey, man. Wow. Awesome. I was just enjoying the, the beautiful scenery. It is pretty. It, it's very striking after, like, the game using all these, like, flat colors, and it's like, brah, sunset. Well, yeah, now now you've returned peace and joy to the land. Got all these flowers and shit. God damn. Couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, I'm, I'm being genuine. I'm not yeah. I'm no, not making I, fun I, of it. I it know. does look like shit, but... Okay. It's Thank <laughs> you so much, everyone. <laughs> All the best. Bye. Goodbye. Man, the Black Cauldron. That, that was, was fun. That was that cute. Was, cute yeah, that was fun.
Thanks for doing it, man. Yeah.